Wow, what a ride! I am Mayu from Green Rose Fair and I'm going to tell you my experience of making the Following the Wind album. Following the Wind album was a crazy experience for me. Working with uh, such a talented and fun people was just unbelievable. At some points we we were almost working day and night, just gathering all the tracks and, you know, fine tuning and changing direction, thinking about all the arrangements and uh, I loved it. Kun te ekassa kerta saa se B-osa, mikä menee eri sanoina, siihen pitää tulla joku, joku mukaan jo. Onko se sitten viulu? Jolla? Missä kohtaa? Komppi ääni. Tää, Tää okay. että mitähän soituu esiin, ei ole Joo. paperissa. Joo. Sä ottais silleen viulumattos. <laughs> Okei. <Okay. laughs> I really feel we were able to catch this super rich musical world to the album with such uh, diverse songs <laughs> at some points, different styles, but still having that uh, some same adventure spirit going through all the songs that uh, is finally binding it all together. The entity is super beautiful. <laughs> With the keyboard arrangements, um, I got pretty wild at some points, either by uh, choosing a quite a crazy style or uh, just planning a crazy difficult solo for myself, <laughs> which took me into troubles. was just so much fun. But there was still one song that was different than others um, and that was simply because I didn't play keyboards on that one. <laughs> I fell in love with Irish music since I was a teenager I guess. I just loved listening all the Irish traditional tunes and it always made me feel so good. And uh, I remember I really rehearsed a lot with these Irish tunes with my keyboards and I was just uh, mimicking all the whistle solos and violin solos and stuff like that. And it was really good practice. I think my dream was to be part of this kind of Irish traditional music group at some point. But it was a heartbreaking moment to understand that Irish traditional bands, they don't use keyboards, they used real stuff. And at some point I started to explore folk music in its all possible forms. Ethnic stuff and traditional Finnish stuff and uh, world music. And um, I started to practice these traditional instruments as well. I started to play Finnish kantele which is our traditional ancient instrument and then some percussions and stuff like that to really learn the authentic pulse of the genuine music. But it was only last year that I realized that I can try to learn the Irish whistle. So I did. So, there is this song called 11th Hour, where I have uh, my Irish whistle to get crazy with. It's measured by the socks miles. And uh, it took me some time to practice it, but I love this song. It's super traditional type of <laughs> Celtic song with this beautiful tavern feeling. So it was just a pleasure. I'm just happy to live uh, in the countryside and in my house 
not to disturb any neighbors. <laughs> Oh dear. So, 11th Hour was the first song I've ever recorded with Irish Whistle and uh, I'm super proud of it. And I think this is the best way to learn a new instrument just by simply recording it on an official album. <laughs> So check this 11th hour song out as soon as you get the album, grab a pint of beer and dance. The album will be out 4th of June and remember to check out our live stream show the next day 5th of June to be the very first to grab all the tunes. So take the good and try.